What's going on everyone? Blend Logic Tech here with another video. We're going to be doing some deep dives into the native uh, Mac OS games that are supported. Um, so that includes the one silicone game I'm going to test, which is World of Warcraft, and then the rest are Rosetta. So be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel to be getting the latest content. Um, as I continue testing, I'm just going to be posting what I'm testing as I'm doing it. So this is the 32 core version and has the um, 32 gigabytes of memory, not the top of the line. You could get 64 gigs and have more terabytes of SSD. This one has one SSD. And before I get into kind of what I'll be covering, I just wanted to say that I am going to also be recording this in uh, OBS 60 frames per second, 1080p. Um, doing the x264 encoder so keep that in mind as you are listening to this content and uh let's get started so the first game that i'm going to test is world of warcraft which has native support this should mean that it should have great settings and we're going to test how it does with obs recording of course um, so if you are thinking about this, this could be a streaming laptop or a gaming laptop and you're recording content, um, should uh, skew your gears towards if you are that type of person who wants to consume this. Um, so right off the bat, um, one of the feedbacks I got from last week was downloading a bunch of stuff and all that. So, All right, everyone, I have gone through the initial tutorial and this is me kind of, I think, on the mainland uh, playing the game. Recording on OBS, of course, so you could hear my audio and I could kind of record. This could be something like if you were streaming or just making content with voiceover. Uh, it's actually one of the ways I'm able to produce content. I don't do voiceovers in post. I just do it while I'm playing. Helps me uh, kind of produce content faster. So let's take a look at what the settings are. Everything was set to 10 with the resolution scale set to 100%. I suppose I could bump it up and see what happens. Um, but before I do that, I'm getting basically 90 FPS at this uh, particular stage of the game, which is the very beginning. And then in the advanced settings, I tried to bump everything up the highest it would go. Um, so for this game, I don't even know if we'll let me do the fidelity. I don't have an AMD card. Everything is bumped up and we could see, I guess when I did that fidelity, it really dropped to 40. Um, unless this set, oh yeah, this setting still went up. So let me go back to a hundred and this is could We're just testing what the playable, um, settings are that if you guys were gaming. So even at a hundred percent, you're getting 60 plus FPS gaming and on promotion. Um, so you still see there's a little bit of notch here. Um, let me see if I can capture this on my external camera. Yeah, there's a little bit of, it's showing the notch. Don't think it's that bothersome in this particular game. Um, and then of course, if we really wanted to get like full super retina, or it's not even retina, it's like, I'm not even sure why I would do this, but let's just see what happens when we go to the very max. I don't think this is playable. It's like 24 FPS would not play at that. Um, so I'd probably do something, you know, maybe like one, 25 close enough you'd still get 50 fps and for those of you who want 60 you just play a little bit lower than that it's still very good in my opinion so again this is the only native game that is on the mac um and that's my kind of real run through so just FYI, this is my first recording of it i had some recording there was someone here stealing my loot oh here's another random person can't take his loot um but i did get a new frost thing but in obs i kind of messed up my first recording i didn't separate the desktop audio and my own audio and the audio was too loud so tip for anyone kind of wanting to make content learn obs stuff like that um be sure to kind of check your levels when you're playing um and that could help you so let's go ahead and move to the next game i think this illustrates the capabilities of a native uh, silicone game and let's take a look at ones that run off Rosetta. Alright, so the next 
video I want to cover is Batman Arkham City. If you recall or have been subscribed to my channel, you'll know that I covered this last year on the M1 MacBook Air um, on the the uh, the M1 MacBook Air that was the 8 gigabyte version. So this one I have the settings set all the way to the highest, at least that I could scroll to, which is 2 8, 2 9 9 2 1 8 7 0. Um, and then I have everything set to extreme. So we're going to do that test, run it, see how it goes. Um, and yeah, hopefully we get some awesome content. So what I'm also going to do is monitor kind of my sound settings just here in the bottom. Hopefully it won't distract you guys. Then here on the bottom right, you can see I have the memory and hash swap files that could be happening during the gameplay. So I am, I think, I from last year, if you watched my content, I just defeated Two Face, um, and now I'm gonna literally continue. But now on the M1 where Max. The bullet entered the court so where in impacted. this particular setting, I think I'm getting a uh, 60 FPS. But I believe that there's a hard cap, so unfortunately, I can't really show what would happen. Um, there could be a fix on Mac OS to the get out of it. The bullet traveled will but lead me to the shooter. This is kind of pretty good gameplay. 60 FPS, everything was high. So I guess what I'm trying to do is get out of here. Um, let's just keep seeing what's going on. Again, this is recording on OBS. You can see on the bottom left, the audio is coming from um, the device. I actually have, should turn it down a little bit. Let me just go ahead and do that. That actually messed me up on uh, my first recording of WoW. And just to double check, I'm going to see if I did the right audio track. Um, so yeah, track one, track two. Those of you who don't do recording or streaming, just a little bit behind the scenes of OBS. Um, I'll make a full video, but I got Black Hole 2 channel running and then the default mic, um, which is recording that content. So let's keep going. I think this could be helpful also if you're thinking of streaming, you know. Um, I'm not a full time streamer, but. If you want to just do oh, gameplay vintage and play, um, you could get through here. So I, I literally lost got lost the last time I played this and couldn't find where I was going. Jeez. Oh shoot. Can I beat these people up? <laughs> I think I'm tracking that bullet here in the city. Still getting 60 FPS, not just in that small room. So... Let's just keep playing. Let's just beat up these people real quick and then I'll end this uh, demo. Super playable, 60 FPS. I forgot how fun this game was. Doesn't give a fuck right now. He just doesn't murder people, but permanently disables them. Oh. You know, I wish they would release Spider-Man for the PC. Oh, I got hit. Noob. I'm breaking bones over here. <laughs> Alright, guys. I think this has been a pretty good... Uh, viewing showcasing m1 max super playable native uh, but again on rosetta so this is not an apple silicone supported game but you know definitely positive um of what i'm seeing so far this is awesome go take a look at the next game so how do i uh save hopefully it's saved otherwise you'll watch me do this on the m2 next year Let's, let's try Batman again, and I'm going to do the same thing. All right, let's check out the next game. All right, so the last game we are going to be testing out is War Thunder. So I have the settings at max full screen and set to max in the graphics. 
Last time I tried this on M1, the native version, it wouldn't launch. Um, but I did some pre-testing before, you know, making this recording and it does launch. So no need for Windows Parallel anymore, or no need for crossovers. Um, I don't know if they just updated it to support M1 or something. Um, but it is running fine for me. So uh, a note on the Batman. I'm not exactly sure why the audio wasn't recording, but I'm, I don't want to pick up the desktop from my mic, right? So I currently um, I'm just have my AirPods on but the desktop sound wasn't being recorded. So I don't know if that's a glitch in OBS. Obviously it worked in, um, you know, wow. Could just be specific to Batman. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to make of that. I would say that, you know, if you're a content streamer and you need to record your desktop audio, that could be a big problem. Um, I don't know if it's the games or whatnot, but I, I'm 100% positive that should have recorded um, the desktop audio. And obviously right now I'm making the content, it's full screen. I don't know if I'm recording this on OBS or not, or I could check. Yeah, you can see here the desktop audio is moving. Um, so it is recording. So I have an off-screen camera also shooting some B-roll footage. It's actually impacting this notch is kind of messing up with the GUI. I don't know um, if that's gonna be a big problem for other people considering. There are some times you could just um, do a different resolution or maybe play window mode um, but sometimes in window mode you can't do um sorry it's hard to stream and make content at the same time but in windowed mode you cannot do sometimes the full retina resolution so that's something i would consider um you know obviously you're here to play games if the notch doesn't bother you you're all good my gun is jammed. Um, again, recording OBS. Um, showed you the settings in the beginning. It's about 8,000. Getting 60 for FPS per second. Am I going to crash in this guy? Oh, shoot. Obviously, I'm making this content as I'm playing, recording on OBS live. So you could just think of this. If you were a, co if you were a live streamer, oh, man, look at, look at the sun, dude. This looks good. If you were a live streamer, this could be your jam. And you want to do on Mac for some reason. You don't like fans on window. Um, you just want to be part of the person that's just in the future running, you know, the future tech. This could be for you because um, it could definitely can't run all the games, but some of these games that are native are pretty good. So, um, 70 FPS set to max. What's going on? I will say. For kind of a conclusion here, I'll just do it while I'm playing. I tried running Metro Exo Exodus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Someone told me to get it. What's happening? Why does it keep doing that when I do? Is that I'm supposed to kill? <laughs> Metro Exodus does not run. It just crashes. So I don't think it could be a glitch with the resolution or the notch. They, they might have hard-coded settings and messed up these new settings. Maybe they just need a new fix real quick. But it does not run, so I can't test that graphically intense game. But the next version, next, um, when you get this edited on DaVinci Resolve, I have that installed. Um, so instead of editing on my RTX, I'm going to be editing on my M1. I'll give you some feedback. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Oh! <laughs> I'll give you some feedback on how that um, process goes as I spend more time on it. But I will say, um, these native games run pretty good. And, you know, the feedback I got from a lot of comments were, hey, you're running other stuff in the background. So this is running smooth um, at max. Not taking advantage of pro motion. Not getting above 60, uh, 60 FPS at the highest settings. Um, but you definitely push that probably if you lower the settings. So this has been Blown Logic Tech. Appreciate you guys. Um, I hit 1,000 subscribers yesterday. I had 300 subscribers the other day. Check out that render test. Um, made that in the morning uh, if you guys are interested in more professional settings instead of playing video games um, and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video let me know comments below what you thought and um, you know does this notch bother you if you were playing games <laughs> let me know I right, appreciate everyone I'll see you guys in the next video take care